What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to do something kind of different. I wanted to talk about my wish list of features that I'd like to see in SketchUp 2019. So a couple things I want to note. The first thing is I have zero knowledge of what changes are being made in the next version, or even if they're going to roll out a new version this year. These are just features that I'd like to see that I think would make SketchUp even better. I also want to hear from you guys in the comments down below what features you'd like to see in SketchUp 2019. So I know occasionally some people from SketchUp um, see some of the comments on videos that I post, so this could be a good place for you to put things in there that you'd like to see in the next version. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So feature one that I'd like to see is upgraded map data. So a couple years ago, SketchUp lost access to Google's map data and uh, has since had to find a new maps provider for the geolocation imagery that they have within SketchUp. And while you can definitely go in and you can bring in map data from different areas, when you bring it in, it's fairly low resolution. So if I bring in a piece of Denver right now, if I select the area and bring it in, you can see how it gets brought in, but when you zoom in, you can't really see the details very well of different areas. So you can see how it gets really fuzzy. So there are extensions that allow you to bring in higher resolution imagery, like Placemaker, but a lot of that higher resolution imagery has an additional cost associated with it. It would be nice to see a little bit higher resolution imagery, though I'm not really sure what the driving factor is, and I don't know if there's any map providers out there that even offer that, but it would be nice to see. So the next feature I would like to see personally is the ability to save loaded plugin states. So right now when I work with my different extensions and I save them, the state doesn't necessarily save when I close out a SketchUp. So let's say for example that I was to load a thousand and one bit tools in SketchUp. So I would come in, I would enable that, and I would apply it to load that within my model. However, if I close out a SketchUp and then open it back up, my plugin state with a thousand and one bit tools isn't saved. So this leads to a lot of issues for me because I have to jump back and forth and some of my extensions don't always work with others. And so what I end up doing is I end up loading and saving and loading and opening and closing a whole bunch to try to get the plugin state that I'd like to see. So it would be nice if there was a way to save this. And sometimes if you save your model, your state will save, but sometimes it won't. It seems to be very hit or miss for me. See, so now a thousand and one bit tools is enabled because I went in and I saved my model, but sometimes it doesn't even seem to work that way. So just the ability to kind of manage your loaded plugin states um, in a way where when you save something, it stays loaded regardless of whether you uh, save your model or not would be nice to have. Possibly the ability to set groups of loaded extensions would be nice as well. I'd love to have the ability to group all of Fredo's extensions and be able to load them all at once instead of having to do them one at a time as well. So a little bit better way to manage your extensions would be nice to see. So last year, as a lot of you know, SketchUp transitioned their free version over to a web-based version. And that was one of my most commented videos. A lot of people had some really strong opinions about that. But uh, one of the things that everyone that there seemed to be a consensus on is the issue one of the issues with the free version is while it has a bunch of the base tools it does not have the ability to work with any kind of third-party plugins or extensions so a lot of that functionality that you get with extensions you don't have in the free version or even in the paid shop online version so one thing that would be really nice to see and I know there may be some software limitations here but it would be nice to have the ability to use plugins and extensions in the online version of Sketch. I think that would go a long way towards the adoption of the online model. I think right now, without the ability to have those plugins and extensions, uh, it just feels like some of the things that you can do with SketchUp now, you can't necessarily do in this version. And I think that we'd be able to overcome a lot of that if you could have those extensions within the online version. So another thing that I would like to see within SketchUp 2019 is the ability to group or nest your scenes. So right now, when you create a whole bunch of scenes, they show up as tabs along the top of the page, and they also show up in your scene manager. However, when you start getting a lot of different scenes within your model, it all starts getting a little bit difficult to manage. Um, it would be nice to be able to group these so that uh, you could group things like your elevation views. So instead of having four tabs up here for elevation views, it would be nice to have some 
some kind of folder up here where you could put your different elevation views, your different plan views, that sort of thing to keep everything organized without having to scroll back and forth. When you only have a few views, and I don't have a lot in this one, it's not that big of a deal, but when you start getting like 40 different views in here, then uh, scrolling between them and managing them gets a little bit difficult. So another thing that would be nice would be the ability to have multiple active section cuts without having to group them. So right now the way this works, and you can see how I have a lot of section cuts in here, is you can only have one section cut active at a time. So like for example, if I was to make this uh, floor plan section cut view active, you can see how my number three section cut won't become active. So you can only have one active section cut within whatever group you're in at a time. Now what you can do, and I will link to a video about this is you can have nested section cuts so like for example I could have one section cut just out here I could have another one active within my group so you can see how I can put this inside this group and get a section cut through my walls and also have my other section cut that's outside of this group active so you can have active section multiple active section cuts that way but that gets a little bit difficult to manage it would be nice to just be able to have those section cuts active without having to worry about putting them within different groups so another thing that would be nice would be the ability to nest different layers. So as of right now, one of the things I really like about the outliner is I can nest my different groups. So you can see how I can set up a group for appliances, and then within that I can have my different appliance groups. So I can use that to keep everything organized. However, within the layers section, you can't do that. So like for example, in this model, I have everything set up so that I have stuff on an architectural layer or a conceptual layer, different layers like that and it'd be nice to kind of group those um, into different sections so that you could kind of roll these up and uh, I mean it's not a huge deal but once you start getting a lot of different layers in here the ability to organize those would be helpful so that would be another nice feature to see the last feature that I'd like to see is I'd like to see some upgraded standard materials. So SketchUp actually has a pretty good library of built-in materials that are great for general architectural visualization. However, when you zoom in, they're fairly low resolution. Like this one on the right, for example, this is a built-in SketchUp material. The one on the left is a V-Ray material. And you can see how when I zoom in on the V-Ray material, it's much higher resolution. It'd be nice to see SketchUp's um, ship with a few higher re or more high resolution textures for visualization. However, I suspect that this is actually on purpose because one of the things you have to be careful of within SketchUp is when you start getting really high resolution images, then uh, it starts having trouble dealing with them and it slows down. So I have a feeling we probably won't see this, but it would be nice to see some higher resolution textures ship with SketchUp. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next version of SketchUp. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.